blessings and welcome to the beautiful and amazing Aquarius Soul Travelers. So good to have you here at Venusian Empress Oracle with Priestess Melissa. We're going to be getting into a weekly reading for you this week in honor of Valentine's Day. So we're going to be looking into the Romance Angels cards. We're also going to be tapping into the tarot with the Cosmic Visions tarot cards as well as the vice versa. Perhaps you're going to get some clarity around some deceptive energy, someone who stabbed you in the back, perhaps lied to you, you know, five of swords is not very far away from the seven of swords, so we'll see if that comes out today, but uh, Aquarius, what I'm seeing so far is maybe this could be something you've been dealing with in the home, or somebody wants to come back home, perhaps, but uh, you may not be quite so sure about this. Well, we're definitely going to tap in and see what is going on for you for this week in love, Aquarius. Do bear in mind that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you. I do recommend you watching these for your Venus sign. However, you may check these as well for your sun, moon, and rising. Um, and I say that because Venus is, you know, your sign of love. So look where that is in your placement, in your chart, and I would check that out. Also, if any of the reading does resonate, thank you so much for hitting the like button to show your support for the channel and the video to keep it circulating. If you need a personal reading, don't hesitate to reach out to me at venationways.org. Okay, guys, so we're also going to, as a bonus, look into the past life oracle cards to get an idea of past life influences that could be coming through. And you may notice these, you know, from past relationships or even in a current one that you are experiencing at this time. You know what I mean? This is something that seems to be a consistent pattern, perhaps. And this will give us an opportunity to be able to be aware of that and perhaps make some different choices as a result, right? Change the way that we've been doing things, break those patterns and cycles. Love advice from the Lover's Oracle cards, and we will answer your question at the end, so do get that ready and stick around for all the good stuff, Aquarius. Let's do it. Blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Romance angels, show us what we need to know for Aquarius. Thank you. Aquarius, let me just tell you how amazing you are and thank you so much for all of your support to the channel. Your likes, comments, shares, and donations are so truly appreciated. Let me know how these readings are resonating with you down in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notifications so you don't miss any of the videos I put out. All right, let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. Love for Aquarius. Show us what we need to know, please. Aquarius love what is this passion allow your heart and joy to <laughs> sorry allow your heart and soul to sing with joy are you in a situation where you feel this way do you feel swept off your feet are you feeling you know those passionate feelings of love or is these or are these I should say healing family issues are these is this something you could be dealing with within a relationship you know we did see that four of wands energy this could be the one but maybe you are experiencing some challenges perhaps you know it feels good but at the same time it's like there's things that need to be taken care of before we can really move it to the next level, right? And perhaps this person wants to propose to you even, or you want to. These can be vice versa when we're talking about love. So in any case, passion coming out. And again, it's like, you know, I feel like there's this back and forth, like, yeah, this could be the one, but at the same time, it's like being cautious because maybe you are seeing patterns from your own family, you know, um, playing out, if you will, in this relationship, or maybe this other person seems to take on certain characteristics of one or both of your parents that you may not quite be so happy with. And, you know, it almost feels like, yes, you do feel that connection with this person, four, five, six, but 
It's like we also at the same time want to make sure that we're clear about what it is that we're, you know, allowing ourselves to commit and connect to judgment energy. So, you know, with that judgment, I do feel like you are being aware <laughs> of what could be in the camp. We got this devil energy. You know, again, I just get this energy of you've been burned before and you just want to make sure. All right. So this could be the one, and it feels great, but at the same time, if you are seeing some red flags, do you make sure that those are addressed and handled first. Anything that is confusing, you know, things are being kept from you, anything like that is a no-go. So moon energy at the bottom does show that maybe there is reason to be concerned. Tower energy, yeah, you've been through your towers, 555. Five, five. You've experienced all the you know, getting caught up in the passion and connection with a person and then for all of it just to crumble, right, Aquarius? It's like, this may be what you're thinking about is all of those situations in the past that may have felt so good, but you've learned your lessons from these and you certainly don't want to go back into any kind of energy like that that would end up, you know, where your world would come down around you kind of thing <clears throat> and leave you in this energy where you don't feel like you can move forward and heal because the six of swords in reverse when it's in the upright generally is speaking about that you're in a place where you're moving to a better place you know what I mean you're leaving behind all that <clears throat> confusion and things of that nature now I see you being aware of it you know, and not allowing it to affect you so in such a devastating way. But at the same time, it still may be causing you to not feel so comfortable or secure in moving forward. You know, you may not feel mentally good with the situation. Seven of Swords, I was so afraid that was going to come out here, and here it is. Um... You may need to be aware of this person around you, is all I can say, because we do have that moon card coming out, you know, seven of swords, and in the middle, four of wands, so definitely this could be a situation that you're in at this time. You may feel like this could be the one, but you also, again, may see that there's a lot of things that need to be healed. You're not liking, perhaps, what you're seeing as far as, you know, so much of that, you don't want so much of the bad as you do of the good. And when, even if it's just, you know, equal and evened out, um, it feels like this person has more of that tendency to be a little bit more devilish or take risks or that kind of thing. And I feel like that's where the big concern is, is that this person hasn't learned their lesson, you know, they pick up these traits perhaps. Uh, from their father being a womanizer or cheating or whatever the case may be and you just don't want to be caught up in that energy power what do we need to know about this nine of pentacles in reverse you know I feel like you took a chance you allowed this person to take you off the market you really thought that this was something that was going to bring you a lot of happiness maybe this person went through a lot even too to show you you know that they wanted to be with you very passionate you know once again and that's how this person could come in um, at this time as well but I do feel like this caused you to pull back you know um, it lowered your value quite a bit with that nine of pentacles in reverse four of pentacles all right I just feel like you got to a certain point with nine reducing to a four you know it's like more than halfway it's like a tipping point but in a negative direction and at a point I feel like you were questioning this person and wanted to know the truth you were asking questions to try to be clear you know and not feel <clears throat> so concerned about this situation but two of cups in reverse would definitely show me that there is some healing that needs to happen with this before we can move it to the next stage and uh, this would be something that you would have to consider if this person did cause you a lot of concern in the past. You know, once you found out the truth, and perhaps this person, you know, once you were clear, this person decided to take off, 
Now perhaps they want to come back and start a new cycle with you. They don't want you to move forward. You know, they just want you to forget about everything they did, <laughs> about all the bad. <laughs> no, remember the good. Remember how happy we were, right? Or have been. And it's like, yeah, but I remember the bad too. And I remember how I felt as a result of not holding to my boundaries, you know, not being strong, not questioning you perhaps. And then this put me in a state of confusion because I thought that you really loved me and you wouldn't deceive me or, you know, try to um, take advantage of me is what I'm hearing. Yeah. The tower had to come down around that. Something happened, you know, something happened to cause you to feel like somehow this person deceived you you know i don't know for sure how that might be yet because i'm not necessarily seeing anything that would indicate that this person has done anything but in any case i see you being in a state of healing what i see more than anything is like mental manipulation uh this person could have simply been lying to you um about how they you know really feel or not talking to you opening up expressing to you um you know just not being on that level of communication that's so necessary and then they want to charge in at the last minute perhaps to try to heal things six of swords energy you know like people play so hard when they think that they got you there and you're not going anywhere right aquarius two of swords in reverse or sorry two of wands in reverse with the six of swords in reverse it's like you want to go but perhaps it's still difficult for you to make that decision to leave this situation i do believe that this person is trying to keep you in that state of confusion you know and always like the love is there but it's like this person is not necessarily present and giving it to you the way that they should. They're there, but you want the truth. You want to know how they really feel. 1221. I really feel like, you know, at this point, you want to be happy. Maybe you have a child with this person, a son, all right? But right now, I don't feel like with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Aquarius, um, if this is your energy, you know, just because it's not air energy doesn't mean that it's not you. You could still be all up in your head because, well, you are Aquarius. But you know, you wanna know the truth. You wanna be able to see clearly so that you can make the right decision and not feel like you're stuck. You know what I mean? And I do feel like this energy of perhaps this person getting up in your head and causing you to have this um, feeling within yourself that you can't Think clearly and make the right choices for yourself. This person may even, you know, be commenting on how, oh, your memory is not so good, is it? And, you know, how do you think you're going to be able to take care of a family or whatever and things like that without me? I just feel like a lot of mental manipulation. If it's not by this person, it's simply you being up in your head about this situation and knowing that there's things that need to be dealt with. And maybe this person is just not allowing you the ability to do that. But maybe they may come in at the last minute and try to, you know, work on things or make things good. You may be blocking them though with this Ace of Wands in reverse. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, you're kind of like fed up with this person constantly keeping you in the dark, right? Always having to work so hard just to get an answer out of them, perhaps. And it's like, why does it have to be this difficult, you know? I feel like it gets you to this fiery state where you're ready to just be like, screw you, basically, if you haven't said that already. All right, so what is going on here past life influences hit the like button and let me know how the message is resonating with you aquarius what is going on past life influences we have asia very interesting so you may feel a connection with um, the asian culture you may have feng shui in your house or just be very into like energy healing from those types of modalities like uh, uh, acupuncture um, 
I was going to say you may even be into Reiki because that is tapped into that as well. Uh, but in any case, you may like that clothing, you just may like that culture, feel very connected to it. You may be Asian, who knows? <laughs> All right, but this is talking about karmic relationship on the bottom. All right, um, I really do feel like, once again, that with these karmic relationships, they always do feel very strong and they start pretty fast for the most part, very passionate, right? But it's like, a lot of times, that's because, you know, when you see somebody from far off, it's a lot harder to see the things that they are really perhaps dealing with underneath it all, <laughs> as Gwen Stefani would say. And you know, yeah, this could be the one, but we really want to have a chance to be able to, oh, very interesting, because Gwen Stefani was really into uh, the Asian culture as well, so you may tap into her as well. You have original cool girls. Damn, you've got some wicked style. Lessons and blessings. So definitely learning, all right, and understanding what has happened here, right? That perhaps you just deserve a lot more than perhaps this person may be willing or able to give to you. You know, if they're not willing to make a commitment and they just keep feeling like this karmic type of energy again, where you feel like they're all, or you're not even sure, you know, there's a lot of the unknown card coming up. So there may be a lot you just don't know, but you just are not feeling good about. So this person could be, you know, messing with someone Asian, who knows? In any case, we have Celtic also coming out here today, and you may relate to that energy or your partner as well. So very interesting. And those are over, you know, across the pond, if you will, both of those energies. So in the past, one of you could have been Asian, one of you could have been Celtic, you know. And of course, Asian is very broad, so is Celtic in a sense too, as far as, you know, like, England and um, Scotland and Ireland, you know, just a lot of different areas over there. So this is very interesting, but definitely there's a lot of passion here. We just got to make sure that uh, people have learned their lessons and we can actually, you know, be able to engage in the blessings with this person. So sexual union says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. You know, you gotta make that deeper connection, like that ocean, all right? It's not just about the sex, it's about connecting on those past life levels too, when we take it deeper and doing that healing for all of those timelines, perhaps in the past that we need to 1818 18, coming out on the timer but this is a time for you to be able to take your power back because this says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time so take your power back if you feel you need to you will know what is best reflection here today says give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best i love that all right so maybe you do need to take a step back at this time and allow yourself to be able to really see things clearly so you can make that best decision for you all right so you can feel calm aquarius about knowing which way you need to go forward once you do know it'll be very easy for you to charge ahead and to say no to take your power back right from perhaps whoever has been trying to uh, keep you in prison perhaps with this passion energy 1919 right so be aware that this could be that power play that it could be keeping you stuck you may need to cut yourself off sexually from somebody for a minute all right guys are you ready to get your question answered let's do it in three two one all right, so here is your answer. Aquarius, it is a hard no. I hope that is the answer you needed, my dear. Don't forget to stay amazing. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Hit that like button, subscribe, and bell notification. 
We'll see you soon. Bye for now.